Hi guys and welcome back to Magic 2014 with Caravel Gaming. I'm Boomer and today we will be taking on Dak Faden and his uh, Dodge and Burn Revenge deck. For those of you who watched the last video you'll have seen that I will be going up against him with Masks of the Demir and you'll also have seen the changes I've made to the deck. So let's see how we get on. I imagine that this is going to be a pretty slow grindy match. Uh, but I don't anticipate having too many tr troubles because he doesn't have that many creatures. I'm going to keep this hand because it's got some good disruptive elements. I am on the draw as well, so I actually get to keep a... Uh, you know, I get to draw a couple more cards before the uh, potential land situation bites. And it's not going to bite because we draw a Terramorphic Expanse, which is uh, pretty hot stuff. And let's get ourselves that one island that we're going to want. And so the plan at this point is to go Demir Guild Mage into Chittering Rats, into probably either Mind Rot or Maroi, depending on how things go. Okay, he's on the Kiln Fiend version, which I'm not too surprised at. Um, in this case, what I'm actually going to do... Do I want to make the Guild Mage? If I make the Guild Mage and he burns it and hits me, that loses me a lot of cards. I'm actually going to hold up. I don't need to make the Guild Mage on turn 2. And because he's made the uh, Kiln Feed and I have a removal spell in hand, I'm just going to hold up. I'm going to let him cast a spell to try and get his Kiln Feed up to size. I'm going to take one here. I want to desperately try and get a card out of him if I can. Doesn't look like it. Is he going to cast another Kiln Fiend post-combat? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to kill one of the Kiln Fiends. And he's got four cards in hand. Well, let's start the uh, Annoyance by hitting him with a Chittering Rat, which means that he's... Uh, you know, if he doesn't have something in hand now, he's not going to have it next turn either. If I can combine this with something like a Doomsday Spectre, I'd be very happy. Ah, he's stuck on land as well, so... Guild Mage is definitely a potential use here, but I think that the first thing I'm going to do, obviously before you do anything, is attack with my Chittering Rats. And I'm actually going to make two Guild Mages. Oh, he has remands. Okay, so that's what he's uh, that's what he's been holding up mana for. That's definitely uh, that's definitely okay. So let's just make the uh, this one instead. If he has a shock, then he has a shock. But if he doesn't, then things are going to go pretty badly wrong for him very shortly. Okay, let's see if he ha he still doesn't have anything. Okay. Oh, he has sulfurous blast, which is going to kill everything. Okay. Alright, that's okay, no problem at all. So we make Demir Guild Mage. And we'll mind rot him as well now that the coast is clear. And he's gonna discard opportunity and land, which is pretty good for us because I don't really want him casting opportunity. Okay, he's gonna bane fire the Demir Guild Mage, so he's still using all of his uh, you know, he is using a lot of spells at the moment, although I am getting a little bit worried at this point. Uh, I'm just going to cast Maroi. I want to put the pressure on him at this point, and uh, a four power flyer is pretty hard to kill, and it does at least put something in play for me to gate off the Doomsday Spectre. Although the Doomsday Spectre isn't going to be, wow, another Bane Fire. Although the uh, Doomsday Spectre isn't really going to be that effective at this point. Uh, Demir Guild Mage is fine. First things first though, I'm going to Thought Scour targeting my opponent because I can't use my graveyard in any way. Okay, make a Swamp, make a Guild Mage and I will say go after that. And if it doesn't kill the Guild Mage this turn, that pretty much means that I'm going to draw my way out of any problems. And he just makes land, which is great news. Okay, first things first, I'm going to draw a card. 
divination is a great card. I'm also going to play the ravenous rat, and the reason for this is I want something again. I want something to gate off the spectre, and it's likely at this point he's just going to play anything that he he's going to play anything that he draws. So again, we're trying to keep that guild mage in play and just uh, whittle our opponent down. Good, he's just drawing land at this point. And as you can see, he's not keeping cards in hand either. So, choice here is whether I draw a card with the uh, Guild Mage or I cast Doomsday Spectre. I think I just attack with both. And then I cast Doomsday Spectre, returning the Ravenous Rat. And I don't think there's a need to play the rat at this point, so I've already got the use for it through the gate it through the gating mechanic, so I think that that's fine. Doomsday Spectre's quite a beating if against control decks if he stays in play. Um you can make your opponent discard any card from his or her hand. Uh the gating mechanic I believe that Dark Ritual was still legal when this was first printed. Um and basically the gating mechanic stopped this from being absolutely ridiculous because if you cast it turn two you just took all your opponent's land which was a little bit naughty uh, I'm gonna cast divination draws me more cards than what the uh, guild mage does and it can also draw me into this which is good and I will draw another card off the guild mage as well so as you can see, we're just pulling miles ahead at this point, and I draw my fourth guild mage as well. I can't say, I can't really complain too much about my draws in this game. And yeah, the Doomsday Spectre effect resolves, but uh, our opponent has no cards in hand. Even if he has a Sulphurous Blast at this point, he has to play it main phase, and he can't cast it now because it would actually kill him, so... Okay, make a land. I'm just going to activate the... Uh, Again, I don't really need to do anything at this point, apart from just draw cards off my Demir Guild Mage. Just keep drawing cards, just putting me further and further ahead. But you can see if we hadn't have hit him with that Mind Rot, he would have had an op he would have cast Opportunity, which would have got him yet more removal spells which would have been a real pain but he's drawn instead he's drawn an absolute pile of land and uh, I guess we just finish him off so that was actually looking to be a fairly interesting game but he ended up with a clump and I drew out of my uh, one island thing so we ended up doing quite nicely as far as that went so the question comes now, what is next in the Revenge campaign? Well, it is Nissa Ravain, and she is playing an elf deck which we haven't actually seen yet. So, what I am going to do is select a deck that we're going to take up against that. We are going up against an elf deck. That deck's just rubbish, I think. Uh, do I want to take... I love the Dead Walkers deck, I really do. Uh, against Elves. You know what, we saw how Dodge and Burn played against another control deck when it played against Jace's Mind Maze deck. Let's see how it does against Elves. Uh, against elves, do I want Pongify? Probably not, no. What do I want against elves? I definitely want the Sulphurous Blasts, all of them. Yeah, I think we're just pure control, like we would be. I mean, it's kind of similar to how we were against... Uh, Jace's Merfolk deck that we had, you know, we have a load of creatures and, you know, a load of creature kill and, except this time we're not up against, uh, you know, we're not up against the, uh, 
absolutely humongous amount. I'll, I think we've got a bit too much removal if you can have such a thing there. So I'll just go to three uh, sulfuric, sulfurous blasts. And we'll save that. And yeah, next time we will do Dodge and Burn Unlocked versus Elves. And I'm going to be setting a lot of little green things on fire, I'm pretty sure. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If Please comment and like and subscribe if you haven't done. And this is Boomer for Caraval Gaming. And I'll see you next time.